Who goes there? And to the challenge comes the answer, the king. His majesty then produces his identity card for inspection by the vigilant home guardsman. This is the human story of the king's arrival at Woodford, Essex, when he inspects 2,000 men of the local defence volunteers. Received by the zone commander, the Lord Lieutenant of the county and the GOC London District, His Majesty witnesses many phases of Home Guard training. Over 80% of these volunteers are ex-servicemen and therefore well able to give a good account of themselves. Noticeable in the ranks, however, are men too young to serve in the fighting forces, but proud to be training alongside proven veterans of the last war. This enthusiastic citizen army comes under the command of Lieutenant General Sir Alan Brook, the new CNC of the Home Forces. Perhaps one of the most important responsibilities of the Commander-in-Chief will be that of coastal defence, pictures of which we now show you for the first time. From concrete and steel emplacements, the guns of Britain point a warning to the European gangsters. These pictures give only a small idea of how the coastal defence force will deal with an invader. We leave it to the guns to tell their story in more eloquent language than words. in the words of Lord Halifax, we shall continue to stand four square against the forces of evil. 